Hi, welcome to Harnessing Learning Potential. This is video 8 of 60, and I'm Kathy Johnson of Pyramid of Potential. This particular video, I'm just doing an overview of vision. Now, when we think of people having a vision issue, we think they need glasses, but many, many other things can actually happen that can go wrong. I'm going to start off this video, video with a story about a boy who is in my school. One day, the two of us were looking into each other's eyes, and then one of his eyes takes off, goes like this, comes back, and my jaw drops, and I say, do you see double vision? And he says, yes, doesn't everyone? Um, no, this was, this was actually, I had a couple epiphanies at this point. Because, yeah, I don't see double vision. And, but yet I thought everybody saw the way I did. I mean, not really, because I knew enough to ask if he saw double vision. And I know some people have color blindness. So I know not everybody sees the way I do, but I still thought most people saw the way I do. And then I realized, oh, the reason why he thought everybody saw the way he did is because he's been seeing that way since he was little. You know, his whole life he's been seeing this way. So why wouldn't he believe that this was normal? Okay? The other epiphany that I had is that he wore glasses every day. He was 12 and he'd been wearing glasses since he was four. And yet, I was the first one to ask him if he saw double vision. He's been under the care of an optometrist for this long and yet no one's asking if he sees double vision. So there are some things that can go on that can make um, seeing and reading and uh, writing and doing math very, very difficult. We need good vision in order to succeed in school. So I'm going to now go through a list of things that can go wrong with vision that we will be addressing in depth in future videos. So first of all is acuity, okay? Acuity is being able to see clearly without glasses. Um, there's near point acuity, which is used for reading, and there's distance acuity. So being able to see into the distance, like for copying from the board. Uh, next is um, sustained focusing. So the ability to keep that sharp acuity for a period of time. I've had a couple students who couldn't sustain their focusing for longer than a paragraph or two. So they wouldn't need glasses because when they went to the optometrist, the optometrist says, you know, it's clear, one or two, three or four. And so uh, they didn't look long enough for it to fall apart. There's also double vision, which I had mentioned. Uh, something called tracking, the ability to follow a moving object with, smoothly with using only your eyes. Okay, we need that for good reading. Uh, there's also convergence, the ability to look distance to near, distance to near, okay, easily and quickly without hurting our eyes. There's peripheral vision, uh, not having tunnel vision, but being able to see in the periphery. And we use this all the time, whether it's sports or adults use it for driving, for example, but kids need it when they're reading so that they can find uh, at the end of a line where's the other, the next line start. Um, so that when they're working on a worksheet that they don't lose parts of the worksheet because they've got such tunnel vision. Uh, fixation is the ability to stare at a um, exact spot without your eyes flitting off like that, okay? Uh, and so um, we need that so that when we are reading or doing our work, that our eyes don't inadvertently jump around to other places. Somebody with really bad fixation, when they're staring, their eyes might uh, just absolutely go back and forth like that. That's really poor fixation. There's also something called scotopic sensitivity syndrome. And uh, it has another name, Erlen syndrome. People who have this syndrome, when they stare at 
uh, black text on white paper that it can hurt their eyes or make the words move or vibrate or even lift off the page. And they find that color can make these things go away. There are other issues that can go wrong with the vision system, but these are the ones that I'll be speaking about in future videos. And that's it for now.